Derek James joins me here. Showtime Championship Boxing. Welcome, DJ. Thank you. Appreciate that. Happy to be here, man. Good to see you no here. Doubt. Listen, let's start with Frank Martin. Right. Another impressive performance for him. You know, he told me before this fight, DJ, he said, quote, BC, I am the most overlooked fighter at 135 pounds. Considering he's in a weight division with Javante Davis, right. uh, the undisputed champ Devin Haney, right. Ryan Garcia, realistically, uh, does he have what it takes to be a world champion at 135? Yes, he does. I think that he has what it takes. It's a constant process. It takes fights like this to give him a little bit more depth. And maybe like sometime around late, last, late, late next year, it could be possible. Now, listen, I know we're only at the halfway point of the year, right? right, right. But it's been one hell of a year for Derrick James in 2022. <laughs> uh, because, look, it started with the unified champ, Errol Spence Jr. Right. He dominates your Dennis Ugas, takes his strap. Right, He's right. now basically a belt away from becoming the undisputed right. champ. And then a month later, Jermell Charlo knocks out Brian Castaño yeah. and becomes the undisputed champion at 154 pounds. First person to do that in his four belt era. I want you to take a look and to listen to your corner work in those big fights. Okay. Derek James, trainer tracks, dropping championship nuggets to his fighters. Tell me what impressed you most about what Errol did in that your Dennis Ugas fight, and then what Jermel did in the rematch against Castaño. I think that what impressed me the most with Errol was that initially when it started out, he was falling a little short, and he was able to make up the distance. And I told him something in the corner to make up the distance. He made up the distance. And he's very intelligent, and he realized he was in a space that Ugas couldn't hit him, and that's where he kept going to. And that's where he kept busting him up. That's how he broke his ribs. And then he worked the other side, broke the orbital bone. And what about Jamel and Castaño? Jamel, everything was for me was great because he he listened and he realized that the counter punching and the footwork and the ability was opening up shots. And that's how he was able to get the other shots in because he used the feet work, he used the counter punch, he used the defense, and everything came to turn together. Listen, there's no debating the results. Arrow's a unified champ. No doubt. Yeah. Jamel's the undisputed champion. Right. You know, Frank looks like he's got the goods here. I, I, what are you doing with these fighters that sets you apart? I think that, for me, man, I train for the training camp for the fighters just like they train. And so, for me, I want to be better. And I got to keep pushing myself just like I told Frank in the last fight. And even I said that it's everybody trains for a particular fight, right? But nobody trains for the guy specifically if he's going to step up the pace. If he can't step up the pace, you got to be able to put master gas. You saw Jamil master gas. You saw Frank do it in the last round. You also saw Arrow do it with Ugas. That's what I focus on. I want to wrap it up with this. We saw Arrow 
get interviewed by Jim Gray, right. and he said, yes, me and Bud Crawford are going to fight this year. Right. Everybody in the world wants to see that fight. Exactly. It seems like everybody in the world has already debated what the result is right. going to be. Are you just as anxious to finally get that fight on? Listen, I'm just as anxious. I can't wait. And this is the thing about it. I always want what my guys want. If my guy wants that, I want that for him. And that's all I have to say because I cannot wait. I'm training for it already. I've been working out for it already. We're going to push it. We're going to have to bring it because I'm telling you, he's going to have to be able to push it to the next level because that's what we're going to be. You already working out, huh? Yeah, I've been working out. Man. I'm not, I worked out this morning. Yeah. Hey, listen, I'm telling you, it's, it's on. I'm ready to go. He's the pride of Oak Cliff. That's right, no doubt. Derek James. That's right. I appreciate it, man. You should be trainer of the year. You should be well, trainer well, of the year. Well, we haven't finished because I may have a couple more things to do this year. And then after that, it may be without a doubt. Appreciate the time. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you.